Dulce, amargo remedio, bendito ya. Indigo, es que a fiertes. No es un universo, no es un universo. So ayahuasca originates from the Amazon basin where it's been used for thousands of years and it's been used ceremonially, it's been used socially, it's been used as medicine, it's been used religiously as a sacrament and we're now seeing it more and more being used therapeutically. It was through the Brazilian religions that ayahuasca is spread, mainly through two of the religions, the Union do Vegetal or UDV, which have um, churches in the U.S. and it's legally um, using ayahuasca in the U.S. and the Santo Daime Church. So these were the two main churches that started spreading ayahuasca throughout the world in the late 70s. That's when the movement started. And then now it's the, the situation, a very um, um, spread out situation. Federally, ayahuasca is still considered a Schedule I substance, meaning that it has no medicinal purpose, meaning that it is largely illegal. There are several churches which have been granted the use of ayahuasca because they consider it to be their sacrament. And so for those churches, they are largely protected. Hey, did Waldo? I put that there. I mean, they threw a softball on you. And we really just try to teach people like there's so much cool stuff out there and you'll find stuff that resonates with you and just honor all paths and and come here to connect with God and we'll help you connect like in the ways that we know like with music and with Taita and with you know having people come together and share. You know, we're trying to be above ground for a reason because we, we believe that this medicine is going to help change the world and change the United States. So in the same breath, you know, we're the ones that are kind of being open doors and sharing. And It all came to me like in dance moves. Um, I've danced my whole life, so. I had so much gratitude and thankfulness that I was taking everybody around. I was saying thank you. I told her, I go, I can't wait for today's experience because I got all that evilness out of me and I want to see what joy I'm going to get next. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, the people. <laughs> The findings of our study thus far are not suggesting that ayahuasca cures depression or cures anxiety. But what we're saying is that people are reporting a benefit from these rituals. And I think it's really important that we aren't reductive about the findings of research right now at this time. Because the majority of studies that have been done so far are small. Uh, we want to make sure that their findings can be generalizable to a larger population. <laughs> You know, there aren't really the same kinds of studies that have been done above ground in the United States um, that allow us to know how well does it really work, who does it really work the best for, what are the real side effects of it. And so our knowledge is kind of limited. And also, um, you know, there's not as much information about safety as um, the regular other medical treatments that you might get if you went to, you know, a regular doctor here in the United States. So it's kind of in the early stages, I would say.
in the end of the ceremonies, I say, I hope not see you again. Mm. Because I, it's, it's, if, if I don't see you again, it's because the job, the, my work is good, you know? And then you are free.